Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And in this episode, we're going to do a little follow-up on our 1974 VW Carmen Ghia, which we converted in eight days. And we're also going to show you some new products uh, that we added uh, since the conversion. Um, some products which we have uh, seen advertised on EV TV. I've been watching Jack and Brian since 2009, about a year after we started this business, and uh, have been a uh, pretty regular viewer. They've recently introduced a, uh, an online store and have some interesting products and products that appeared to be of high quality and thought we'd give them a try. So we ordered three of the products, two of which are installed on our Carmen Ghia, which we will feature in this video. So let's get started. The first product that I'd like to share with you is the uh, billet aluminum uh, J1772 um, plug receptacle for your conversion. Very nicely machined, high quality component by uh, modular EV power. And one of the things I've uh, noticed with the uh, products from EV TV is that uh, they come well documented. And uh, Jack includes nice manual with it, great photos, walks through every aspect of it. Just, you know, very high quality. Comes with a schematic diagram and uh, the AVC2 module which um, spoofs the uh, uh, signals for the uh, charger so that everything will work as it should just like you had an OEM. So that's the first product and uh, not using it on the Carmen Ghia we uh, typically charge at home or at the shop here although at this shop location we do have the GE watt station but typically we just charge with 110 using the good old standby here that everybody's familiar with our charger is an auto sensing 110 220 and depending on the uh, extension cord we use we can charge either 110 or 220. Typically charge on 110. Uh, I don't uh, drive more than 25 miles on average. Uh, some days up to 45 miles. Um, 45 mile round trip on this. I still have 60% state of charge. So charging is not an issue. And so not uh, not too worried about having the compatibility with public charging. Uh, my good old extension cord actually uh, will plug in more places than the J1772 will. So anyway, let's take a look at uh, a couple of the other products and some of the changes we made to the Carmen Ghia. In the uh, video, didn't have the dash installed. And we're still waiting on the uh, knob for the glove box. But um, put the dash in. It's actually a three-piece dash. We only had the one piece originally. When we restore the car, we'll replace that. It was good enough for now. But uh, we did put the uh, wood grain dash in with um, the padded top pad. In the... Uh, cluster the stock car had um, the speedometer and then a clock and the clock had the fuel gauge and some idiot lights and the idiot lights were so small and dim I thought the bulbs were burned out uh, they weren't you just couldn't see them so we took out the clock which didn't work thought about fixing it and uh, leaving it in but 
uh, I don't like to drill holes in uh, classic cars and so what we did is we we uh, used the clock hole and made our own insert and added a few things what we have is a uh, 12 volt gauge uh, to monitor our auxiliary system and then we have uh, the motor temp light and uh, our turn signal light and to be added shortly right here in the center between the two clusters will be our high beam light this switch right here activates the display for our, our EMS system so it allows us to turn that on at, uh, at any time of course it comes on anytime you turn on the ignition it comes on automatically and then the switch next to it allows us to it's a momentary switch allows us to page through and monitor all the individual cells on the main screen we have the uh, pack voltage current and capacity also shows us our minimum cell voltage maximum cell voltage and maximum cell temperature and both of these fit in the uh, stock cutout for the the radio so we didn't cut the dash at all they uh, both fit in there don't look perfect uh, you know as far as compatibility to one another and so forth but it looks pretty doggone good had lots of uh, compliments on it but it's functional and next to it we have the JLD 404 from EVTV and it's kind of a duplication of uh, our EMS uh, display but it has uh, one thing it doesn't have well it has several things it doesn't have uh, one is it displays your ampere hours uh, the other is it has some uh, relays uh, two relays that uh, allow you to have some control over uh, uh, other features in the you know conversion whether it be controlling a charger or whatever you want to use them for they're actually uh, pretty nice and have multiple settings so anyway um, one other thing that we uh, purchased from EVTV turn on the key I don't know if you can hear that, but that is um, our motor blower. We uh, purchased the motor blower from EVTV that uh, uh, is a little different than what we've used in the past. Let's take a look. Okay, here we have our new motor blower. In the past, we've used a remote blower that uh, typically on the like the Volkswagens we mount back uh, up and off to the side from the transaxle uh, with a scoop that catches uh, uh, some fresh air from underneath the vehicle with a, a filter on it and then it's ducted to the motor one it kind of makes it a little quieter they're about the same amount of volume of noise and kind of keeps the, the engine compartment a little cleaner and I like uh, the clean minimalist look but it doesn't quite put out as many CFMs as this does this is 495 CFM if I remember correctly and uh, it, it's a little different and so we've given it a try and it works quite well um, like the other components we purchased from EVTV it, it's a quality uh, unit um, came with everything you need um, relay uh, fuse holder um, one interesting thing no fuse 
So, uh, Brian, throw in a fuse, we'll give you five stars. <laughs> anyway, they, uh, there have been talk that they uh, don't always get the right thing in the box, so forth. I ordered two orders from them, three items. Got everything that I requested. Uh, everything was correct, timely. Um, satisfied customer. So anyway, that's a new addition in the engine bay here. It it runs about $500, so it's a little spendy. Uh, quite a bit more than what we've spent in the past uh, for motor cooling. But it works real well. Yesterday, uh, it was on a, uh, a test drive, 108 degree ambient air temperature. And... Um, previous tests weren't quite as hot but still even with that hot ambient air uh, the motor ran uh, 20 degrees Celsius cooler than on previous tests without the blower so that uh, that did a you know a good job uh, all things considered um, so and the engine bay's not finished yet. Uh, we will uh, cover everything with the uh, textured black ABS and, and close it. Um, well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay if it'll show up on camera. All sealed with uh, the black ABS. You don't see the ground. Keeps everything nice and clean and dry. Um, so, uh, this car's over three years old. It's got over 15,000 miles on it and nice and clean. We like uh, enclosing the engine compartment. Well, let me show you another little teaser here, uh, upcoming video. This is the uh, Porsche 912E. Yep, 912E, factory designation. It's a one-year vehicle, 1976, and we're in the midst of uh, converting this one. And so we'll feature this in an upcoming video. So I hope you stay tuned for that. So, since we uh, saw you last, we uh, added the uh, blower on the motor. The uh, amp hour gauge in the dash as well as finished off the dash. So, Carmen Gia has been on the road now for almost, well, for two weeks. And uh, being driven daily, this thing is a joy to drive. What a fun car. Has brisk acceleration. Cruises down the freeway at 70 very nicely. Handles so much better than it did originally. Um, we were going to put a heavy duty anti sway bar on it. Well, we still are, but it's no biggie now. It used to have quite a bit of body roll. This thing just, it, it, it flies around the corner nice and flat. Just incredible uh, by moving the uh, weight forward a few feet. Well, there you have it. Little update on our Carmen Ghia conversion. Um, real pleased with the. Uh, new products. Um, this thing is finished. It's just a matter of driving and enjoying it. Tomorrow it'll be in Chico, California at an EAA meeting uh, giving rides. And that's what this car was, uh, was built for. Um, the bug which uh, has been to shows all over the West Coast. Um, it's got the beautiful paint job and 
so forth and is a, is a real attention getter but it's too pretty and we don't like to take the chance on it getting blemished and so it, it it's done its job of getting uh, people to notice uh, an electric vehicle. The Carmen Gia's main purpose is to share that with them further by allowing them to ride and drive an electric vehicle. And so we're not going to uh, <clears throat> restore this one immediately. Uh, we're going to leave it in the condition in which we purchased it. It's pretty clean, um, but it's just going to serve a different purpose. And by not being pristine, uh, a lot more relaxed about letting others uh, uh, drive it and ride it. So a lot less invested in this one. So anyway, um, our first uh, conversion workshop is uh, a week from tomorrow. Uh, classes uh, all filled. But we still have openings for our August, September, and October uh, workshops. So visit our website at evforyounow.com and, uh, and register for those. Get, uh, get some hands-on uh, opportunities and prepare you to be able to do your own conversion. So until next time, remember, electric cars scoot, gas cars pollute. See ya.